Hello. Today, I would like to talk to you a bit about SRPG Studio, because it is a very powerful tool and it doesn't get enough love. SRPG Studio is a tool a lot like RPG Maker, but specializing instead in strategy RPGs like Fire Emblem. It's pretty versatile, but it can also be a bit confusing to get started with, so I thought I would share some tips. I have a game demo that I'll be using to demonstrate things with, but if there's anything in particular you would like me to cover, please let me know. Let's start with making your characters. Characters, like a lot of things, live in the database, so they can be used across multiple levels. In my first level, only Sparrow is playable, but you can see that Frit is already in the database as well. Sparrow is using a default class, but Frit is using a custom class that I have made especially for him. You also make classes in the database, as you can see here. Make sure to include any special traits your class has as well, like the ability to fly, as those are defined here. The other thing for classes is to define what types of weapons they can use. Weapons are grouped broadly into categories, so you select your categories here with the check boxes. You can make new categories too, but that's a step beyond what we're doing today. You can also restrict weapons to particular characters if you want. This sword belongs to Frit, and only he can use it, so even if another character who can use swords picks it up, it's useless to them. Also, you may have noticed that Frit can use magic as well as a sword. This is because his custom class is set up to use both, but you can't do that without also changing a couple of other settings first. There aren't any sprites in the default game that use both types of weapon, so it doesn't have any real battle animations with the same model. You can either choose a second animation with a different model, or turn off real battle completely. I've turned it off here. Don't worry though, magic effects will still be displayed on the map screen. Also, see how that fire spell is dark blue. That's Midnight Fire, a custom spell I've made. Guess where we make new spells? That's right, it's the database again. Here you can see the Midnight Fire tome, and yes it is once again locked so only Frit can use it. You can set how far you want it to reach in here, and whether or not your enemies can attack back. If you want it to be super effective against certain units, you can set that in here too. It's also very easy to load in your own weapon icons as well, as you can see the spellbook I've added here. Custom assets, like the spellbook and the fancy fire effect, get imported up here. Your character portraits and things are up here as well. If you want to make your own assets, there's a full guide to all the image sizes on the wiki. I'll link it in the description. So now you should be able to make most of your cast. There are a few unit types, like transforming units or fusion units, that require a bit more setting up, but I can go into more detail for them another time if you like. This should keep you busy for a while though I hope. Anyway, that's all from me for today. Catch you next time.